Hello, welcome to another review. Another beer from Cloudwater in the bottle shop in Bermondsey. Um, it's, a, it's a tap takeover with them, Cloudwater and Brewski. So it's very loud, it's a Saturday tea time. So whatever. So this is another one, this is the third beer from the um, English IPA series. 9% ABV, double IPA. Um, exactly the same pops as before. The only thing that's different with this is the pale yeast. And this is the Burton Ale version. Burton Ale yeast is the only thing that's different. The hops, again, are Mosaic, Simcoe and Willemite. 9% ABV. This one's a little bit more kind of a cloudier, slightly darker um, mould build to this beer. Decent in a glass, hazy, leaving a decent lacing, all that kind of jazz. It's, it's loud, and I could get video bombed, but hey ho. I look back on it, I think, oh, I'm glad I've done that. This is also part of a vlog. I'll put that link back down below as well. Aroma. Oh, quite, quite a, a strong... It's definitely... If you're picking up the differences with the ale yeast compared to the, the London ale and a, and a DW, uh, DW Lee's ale yeast. All three are, are very distinctly different on the aroma. I mean, this one is a little bit more cloudier as well. Cloud water. It's more of a, a kind of a slight pineapple note to it. Again, light stone fruit, that kind of jazz. It's the pretty same hop, so you expect it to be a little bit similar. But there is subtle differences, obviously, within the ale yeast. Let's give it a try anyway. Cheers. Oh wow, that is, that is very different on the palate. Slightly more drying. Still juicy, but this is a little drier than the London Ale yeast version. Again, the body is around about kind of medium. Um, it's just drinking, not like a 9% beer, just like the other two versions that I've tried. It, it's a dangerous beer. This my this is my third third of a 9% beer. I started off with a 5.9, so it's my fourth review on this vlog. As you know, you've been watching it. Uh, but for the individual reviews, then yeah, it's my third, fourth beer. Um, I'm trying to think, there's, there's another flavour coming through, but I can't quite picture what it is. Yeah, pineapple. There's a slight kind of fleshy peach, a little bit dry, like peach kind of uh, skin, that, that, that kind of dryness, slightly prickly, it's a little bit kind of herba herbaceous, so it's, it's still very drinkable, but it's definitely dry in my palate, this one anyway, compared to the other two. In terms of rating then, um, it's probably my least favourite of the three, but there's very, there's, it's very marginal, you know, so it's not quite a 10. Um, it's still worthy of, what, 9 out of 10 all day long. So yeah, if you're up in Manchester and you can get to the barrel uh, room and this is around, I strongly recommend you trying as many as you can of these, the British double IPA version series that they're doing. Uh, the drink fresh version or series you always drink your IPAs fresh anyway anyway if you're new to the channel uh, please subscribe that'd be really cool and if you're watching on the vlog I'll see you probably in a minute for a walk around or another beer cheers